Well, former president of Poland and Nobel laureate Lech Walesa, the historic anti-communist leader, he actually played a major role in helping to eradicate communism across Poland and Eastern Europe for that matter. It's been reported that documents were leaked, it was covered by the BBC and others, that Walesa allegedly was paid as an informant in the 1970s for those same communists that he later fought against. Now, the documents of Walesa being paid by Russia were in fact filed away, this is all alleged, by an interior minister. Uh, we have a snippet of what those files contain. It starts off inside the personal file, there's an envelope and inside a handwritten commitment to cooperate with the secret police signed Lech Walesa Bolek. Now he used the pseudonym. The minister goes on to say, this among the documents in the folder were some handwritten, and here I have a direct quote, handwritten confirmations of receiving funds signed with the pseudonym Bolek. Now Sasha, in this folder, they're saying that uh, Lech Walesa actually agreed to work as an informant, um, cooperating with the same communists that had actually persecuted him. Um, just a little bit of background on him. He was an electrician by trade. He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1983 and became the later president of Poland in the early 90s. And um, his whole stance was anti-communistic, the solidarity movement, a populist movement, if you will. He was, he was very much opposed to, to communist leadership and helped actually eradicate it from, from not only his country, but most of Eastern Europe. What do you make of this? I mean, these claims are claims that Walesa has been denying for decades now on end. And in 2000, a court agreed with him saying that, you know, it's unfounded, the things that people are saying. So it's very interesting to me that this is coming up now at this time, because you have the Law and Justice Party in in, uh, Poland that's coming up and they're for affiliated with the former Prime Minister Kaczynski who ran on this fear campaign about the migrants bringing diseases into the country and he was very anti-Russia very anti-EU and so um, you know and Walesa is not so much on those same opinions of things that are happening so it's very interesting that this claim is still coming up mm -hmm. but also the fact that it's been such a, a widespread rumor for so long mm -hmm. kind of makes me think, do people in Poland even care at mm -hmm. this point if it's proven? It's not going to, and, and you're absolutely right. So that uh, that kept coming up in, in articles. Does this affect his popularity? Do people care? As she mentioned, he's been battling this for a very long time. And the, the fact that um, in a written statement in a microblog, he's vehemently denying this. He's actually traveling in Venezuela at the moment, 72 years old. Um, this is what Kaminsky actually, I want to pull up a clip of, of the secret uh, documents. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, the director added, and, and this is what we have from the director. In the work folder is many reports by a secret informant with a pseudonym Bullock and notes by secret police officers from meetings with the secret informant, the director added. So lots of secrets going on. Um, apparently, you know, we're talking about a time, Sasha, where... Uh, the spy intelligence apparatus, you know, in the 80s, we were still, we were still within the Cold War right. spectrum. And the fact, it's plausible. When you hear something like this, it does sound like it would be plausible, but then you look at the character who received a Nobel Prize and later became president, you're like, this is just a smear campaign, as you said, from the Nationalist Party that's currently in power. I mean, that's it's... You also have to look at the circumstances surrounding how they found this information. You know, it was the wife of Kaminsky. She wanted money for these documents. And the fact of the matter is, because they're historical documents, under the law, they have to be handed over to the government. So there hasn't really been a chance for anyone to vet um, these, make sure that his signature matches, things of that nature. But at the same time, it's, <laughs> a, again, you know, you have... If this sounds like, you know, dirty politics. It's a smear campaign trying to take Walesa out because he's been such a beacon for this movement and you have this party that's coming into power and what better way to get voters on your side than to discredit the person who stands against everything that you're running on. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. Well, the State National Remembrance um, Institute, the NRI, they're saying this today, uh, that these documents were in fact seized from the home of the late communist interior minister, the late General Kizak and excuse my Polish accent if that's not correct, but that uh, this general, his, his widowed wife now wants money, and uh, they're saying that they're, it's in the handwriting of uh, Lech Walesa, and Walesa is vehemently denying this. I concur with my colleague here. It seems like a smear campaign to me, and he said, look, this is going to have to play out in court.